Welcome! In this video, I'm going to give you a tour of the Singer Stitch Quick Plus machine. I'm going to show you how to insert the batteries and explain the difference between the two sewing modes, handheld and desktop. So here's a tour of the Singer Stitch Quick Plus machine. On this end, there is a bobbin cover with the bobbin case and bobbin. The cover slides on and off for easy access. Presser foot the needle, the needle clamp screw. There are five thread guides. Thread guide number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five is on top. There's a thread cutter on the end of the machine, and this is the thread take up lever. On the back, we have the presser foot lever. Back to the front, we have a tension dial bobbin winding hole is on top. This is the hand wheel and the arrow showing you the direction in which to turn the hand wheel. The machine comes fully threaded with an upper bobbin, which can also be replaced with a full size spool of thread. This is the mode selector switch. This shows you handheld mode, lock, which is off, and desktop mode. Underneath, if there is a trigger button, this is the on off trigger. In the back, we have handle storage. This compartment, the door slides open and shows the compartment. In the machine, you have the following tools. You have a large spool pin for sewing and winding, a bobbin pin for rewinding, two extra bobbins. These are class 15 metal bobbins, the only size bobbins you should use in the machine, a threader, and some extra needles. We recommend replacing the parts into the handle after each sewing session so they're secure until the next time you need them. Also start with the largest piece first and then insert the smaller pieces around it. This will make storing the pieces much easier. Once you have all of the pieces in the handle, go ahead and replace the cover. It just slides in. This is the attached rear battery cover and we will go over how to install the batteries. On the back is an adapter plug socket, so you can use an AC or DC adapter sold separately instead of batteries. To insert the batteries into the machine, make sure that the switch is in the lock position. Open the attached rear battery cover to insert the batteries. The machine is marked with how to insert the batteries, but it can be hard to read. If you need another reference, Go to page two of the manual where there's an excellent illustration and directions on showing you how to put the batteries in the machine. So let's go ahead and insert the batteries. With the machine in the same orientation as the illustration, insert the batteries, the lower right with the positive end out, lower left with the negative end out, upper right with the negative end out, and upper left with the positive end out. Once all four batteries are in the compartment, go ahead and close the battery door over the end. Now you're ready to sew. When it's time to replace the batteries in the machine, make sure to replace all four batteries with four new batteries. Do not mix old batteries with new ones. If you choose to use an AC or DC adapter, which is not included with the machine, make sure the machine is in the lock position. Remove the batteries from the battery compartment, turn the machine around, and plug the adapter into the back of the machine. In this next section, I'm going to show you the difference between the handheld mode and the test stop mode. First, make sure the machine is in the lock position. Take your fabric and position it under the presser foot and use the lever to lower the presser foot onto the fabric. If needed, hand crank the needle into the up position before positioning the fabric. When using handheld mode, when you depress the on off trigger, when you depress, push it in, the machine is on, and when you release the trigger, it stops sewing. Once you're ready and have your fabric positioned under the presser foot, switch the machine to the handheld mode. Now when you press the lever, the machine will turn on, and when you release the lever, the machine will turn off. This is an excellent mode to sew in when you have something you cannot take down and put under the machine, such as curtains. To use this mode, you can lift the machine up off the table. You do not have to have it on a tabletop. Go ahead and press the button in to sew and release to stop. Once 
Once you're finished sewing, go ahead and switch the machine back to the lock mode. Hand crank the needle up if needed by turning the hand wheel towards you. Lift the presser foot and gently pull your piece out. Use the cutter on the side of the machine to cut your piece out of the machine. That is handheld mode. Once you're done, make sure to put the machine back into the lock position. Now I'm gonna show you how to use the desktop mode. When using the machine in the desktop mode, when you depress the on off trigger, the machine will turn on. It will continuously run until you press the trigger a second time, which will turn the machine off. You go ahead and position your fabric under the presser foot in the same manner as what you did for the handheld mode. Once your fabric is in position, go ahead and move the switch to the desktop mode. Depress the trigger to turn the machine on. And then press the trigger to turn the machine off. Once you're done sewing, push the lever back to the lock position, hand crank the needle to the upright position, lift the lever and slide your piece out of the machine. Go ahead and use the cutter on the side to break your thread. That's it in this video on how to get to know your machine. Make sure to check out video number two where we show you how to wind a bobbin, bottom bobbin placement, and catching the bobbin thread.